Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Rating Your Doomstack video covering Miao Ying with a Sky Junk Doomstack that's been powered by the Warpstone of four stolen Warlock Engineers from Clan Ishin. So what he's done here is he got an alliance with Clan Ishin, managed to get them to uh, get some Warlock Engineers to rank 20, and then stole them, and then attached them into this army. So that would have required a fair bit of effort, but each one of those is providing extra ammunition, missile strength, reload time reduction, and one of them's able to provide some extra range. But in addition to that, they're also able to provide extra speed for missile units. So we can see here that the Sky Junk, which is normally a very slow unit, has speed 59. Now that's not going to outrun a dragon, but it will outrun infantry, so that's pretty good. So let's jump in here and uh, see how it goes. Going up against this one army, but it's the kind of army that um, Sky Junk Doomstack should not be able to deal with at all because they're not good at dealing with single entities. Now, normally what you'd want to do is just go up against an army and just ignore the single entities and try to get the army losses as, as quickly as possible. But there is no way we can get the army losses without dealing with the dragons because they're worth probably more than half of the balance of power, especially considering we've got Imric here. Now, we've got Miao Ying. And she can be used to tank a little bit, but I'd say that Imric is probably going to be stronger than her in melee, especially because he's anti-large. So if we have a look at her resistances, she's got some ward save, physical resistance, and a little bit of fire resistance. Just a little bit, okay. And then we just got to decide where we're going to stand or fly. Okay, I'm not sure if just holding one big dumb line like this is a good idea. And, and I suppose the guy who sent this in would have a lot of practice with this kind of army, whereas I'm not entirely sure what we should be doing. I know that we definitely should be using Howling Warp Gale, but we need to generate magic and that takes time. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'm going to give them different control groups. Okay. Because, yeah, we've got access to Ballistics Calibration where we can get some more reload skill. Master of Tempest. Because, yeah, they've got the primary shot. The problem here is, as well, they've got um, flaming attacks, right? And these guys here would have a lot of flame resistance. Yeah. And missile resistance. So they're going to be quite resistant to our attacks. The infantry will still end up dying really easily. But yeah, the flame attacks here hurt us quite a lot. And they've got physical resistance. Oh my god. So the resistance that we're dealing with here, 10 plus 25, 35, 70% resistance to our attacks. So he's really gone up against something that we're not supposed to be able to beat. Alright, well, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, let's... That's not what I want to do. Put these in different locations. Yeah, they delete some units. We definitely need to make sure we get rid of the, uh... Then we get rid of the Dragon Princes there. That's really important. Otherwise, they will be the main thing that goes kills the, um... Warlock Engineers. Alright, need you to fly up. Yeah, the infantry didn't stand a chance. Okay, we're going to start killing the dragons. And see how much damage we can do with that. And you start going around here. Try to lure them around a different way. You can get their attention. Yep, you got their attention. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we want to see. Yep, get rid of these dragon princes, please. Yep, you lure them out that way. I think she's got the Von Karstein blade, so she's going to regen. This one's got a Tormentor Sword. Unleash war okay, we've still got Imrit coming in. He's going to be a big problem. Yeah, look at these guys here. They're just not breaking. Alright, I got to slow Imrit down. Overcast Howling Warp Gale. And buy us some time. That's it. Got another load over here. Okay, at least the Dragon Princes are gone. That's good. Buy some more time there if you wouldn't mind. Okay, 
So these two here, they've still got the crane gunners on them. Okay, move, keep moving, Miao Ying. Just keep them busy. But I think it's really important that we keep Imric away. That is of utmost importance. I don't have enough magic at the moment for another overcasted one. They seem to be waiting for him. Okay, we got incoming dragon here. Slow it down. Keep shooting at it. You're actually going after the warlock engineers, and that's fine. Over here is a little bit of a problem. Look, they nearly killed that. You keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Go back that way, actually. Now remember, we need to be stopping. Imric. He gets in there, we're screwed. You two, start moving back. Okay, have we got enough magic for another one of these? No, but I can not overcast it, but it's going to run out real soon. We need to be getting rid of this dragon. Okay, run out. You're going to have to just not overcast it. Okay, just get rid of the regular dragons, not rid of Imric, because he's going to have ridiculous amounts of fire resistance. Try to get Imric to land on these guys here, because he'll he'll hit hard, but he'll toss them around. Okay, Miao Yang fighting one dragon should be okay. They keep Imric busy a bit longer. Good. Dragon down. Over here, that's not good. Get that one out of there. Get out, get out, get out, get out. They're definitely doing some good damage there for sure. Right, I need I need one more Winds of Magic. There it is, there it is, quick. Okay, there's the army losses. We got it. Oh man, Miao Ying can't even take on one dragon. How about that? They actually managed it. This is a good test. Rather than going up against four full stacks of like garbage, you went up against an actual doom stack that you're not good against. And it can actually win against it without taking any casualties. Because another thing is, if we bring Miao Ying back over here... Because we've only got single entities, I don't think there's going to be time, though. Um, plus, we need more magic. But uh, if we could get back here quickly enough, we could heal. We've got a bit of time before that one leaves the battlefield. Defenders of Cathay. Used up half of their ammunition. Fighting an army, like I said, the, the, the dragons just were so resilient to our attack. We had physical damage, missile damage, and flaming attack. They were resistant to all of it. And they still managed to kill them, you know, reasonably well. If it was a full stack of dragons, I imagine we would have struggled a lot more. The infantry were nothing. But man, these warlock engineers with Howling Wolfgale kept um, Imric busy for so long. But yeah, one thing that you would definitely want is some way to generate Winds of Magic faster. So you got regrowth here, pop it down. But yeah, the problem here is it's not generating enough magic. You need more arcane conduits, but the um The Warlock engineers, they don't get they don't get that. So I'm not sure what you could do apart from maybe attach a astromancer into the army. Uh, that way you will have also access to extra um Uh, spell mastery, because these guys here aren't providing spell mastery. It's pretty funny having I mean, all these rats attached to the army. And yeah, you can heal these guys fairly easily in between battles. Without too much difficulty. And then you've got Earthblood over here, which is more efficient than Regrowth. That's about to leave the battlefield. Oh, hang on, hang on. The direction that it's running, they've actually got a bit of time before they're out of here. Well, it seems that these guys here are not moving at 59 speed, even though 
it says there. I don't, I don't think that's 59. That's pretty slow. Like, it fit... That's... They should be moving about the same speed as called ones. I think that that's lying to us there. That these guys are locked to a certain speed. And even if you do boost their speed, in terms of numbers, it doesn't actually do that. Yeah, it would be good if we can get this up to full strength. Maybe score a heroic victory. But I don't think we've got enough time. That one there is going to leave the battlefield before too long. But yeah, you get the gist of it. Cool. Well, Imrik got away, but he's already ranked 45, so him walking away with some experience. Actually, no, he wouldn't get any experience because he didn't kill anything. This is as far as I understand how it works. So yeah, it's a little bit difficult to rate because he's kind of using an exploit to get the uh, engineers, which I am totally okay with. Uh, people submitting doomstacks with heroes from other armies. However, they immediately lose practicality because of how difficult it is to do that. This isn't something that you can just switch on on turn one and do. You know, you've got to... Get an alliance with a faction that normally hates you. You have to wait and or try to help them get a Warlock Engineer to rank 20. Then you've got to borrow that army and then get the character killed. Honestly, getting them killed is the easy part. Um, I'm not sure how you'd go about that. You know, go about that easily, I mean. Of course it's possible. And look at that, he's even got uh, another one here. So one thing we want to look at here is how much they're actually boosting the sky junk. So if we have a look, the main thing that I'm looking at here is reload time reduction because um, fire rain rockets don't shoot very quickly. With all that ammunition, having loads of ammunition like that's great, but if they're shooting really slowly, they're not going to get a chance to use it. So I want to see exactly how much it's providing. So we take all of them out and we see just what this boost actually was. So yeah, they had 28 ammunition, so that's a big boost in ammo. Their missile strength was at 2.6k. Look at that, reload time, 12.4. That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, since he's got another one here, why don't we see what it looks like with 5 in there. Oh, and another thing, they increase mobility. Which is something that the they've already got a hero for. Actually, I think these guys here will... Um, going on what the hell I have to select that one for some reason hmm interesting I don't know what's going on there I'll have to select it via here pride is not undeserved what? <laughs> Something's going wrong here. Uh, what if we just moved her over here? Yeah, something's going wrong there. Like I don't need to send the save file back, so I'll just I'll just load. Uh, I'll just load the uh, the game. Bef that way it'll be before I um. I took them out. And just detach that one. Because I want to see exactly how much you could potentially boost it. Because it may have been better with five. Yeah, just curious about this. So yeah, rating something like this is difficult because of the, uh, the extreme amount of effort that goes into it. Because usually when, in regard to practicality, it comes down to ease of obtaining. So in terms of uh, practicality, I'd say not very... You know, kind of low. In terms of strength, very high. Ease of use, sort of medium. So definitely not the greatest Doomstack ever, but I really like the interesting combination of using heroes from different factions. All right, so now if I get rid of this one. So it was at six seconds, and now it's at 4.4. Look at that, it went up by 1,100. Look at that. Missile strength. 
So each one that's attached provides four additional ammo. And just massive amounts of damage output. Like losing one of the sky junks is not that big of a deal if all of them are going to fire that much faster. That's really good. Okay, cool. Well, very interesting army, if nothing else. Not practical, but that's okay. It doesn't always have to get, you know, top marks and everything. But, yeah, the fact that it was able to I'm even handle a dragon doomstack um, is very impressive. So, yeah, that's the end of this one here. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Uh, I really appreciate the guys sending this one in. Um, I actually think I prefer more interesting doomstacks over, per over like, perfect doomstacks that are 10 out of 10s. Because I think we've seen enough of those. Those are usually just hero doomstacks that can heal. Those are usually the easiest ones for that. But anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.